he's sleeping in his own bed in his own room. Good morning. You have a good night. Good morning, Chevy. Good morning, buddy. Oh, it's gonna be a good day. Be such a good day. <laughs> I wanted to show you our plans for our countertop. Now I've shown you those uh, panels or those pieces that I bought already, right? The 370 inch pieces of butcher block. We're gonna be putting new counters in here sometime this summer. I have an uncle who did this for a living as a career and uh, he's going to hopefully be able to uh, make sure that I don't mess it up. He already gave me some really good pointers so I think I know what I'm doing already. I have to go and get them cut. I wanna get them cut by a professional who cuts countertops regularly so that I do it right. You don't wanna mess up those cuts because if you mess that up, the whole thing's garbage, right? Our countertops are gonna be starting from here. So we're gonna shave this off just a little bit there because this is just a piece coming out. The, the cupboard actually ends right here. So we don't need this piece. The reason I want to do that is so that we can move this fridge in a little bit closer to this and because uh, it sticks out on this side. So the countertops will go from here around here. Sorry, you guys who have kids know there's always dishes. Speaking of dishes, I do have the dishwasher installed. I did it myself. Pretty proud of myself actually. I had never installed a dishwasher before. Now I know how to install a dishwasher and it works great. So the countertops are going to extend past here to the stove here. And then what we're thinking of, but this is just our pantry, right? We're thinking of building cabinets below here and up above here and then using the rest of our countertops because I think we'll have enough to put another counter in here yet. We'll see. We also have the window right here too, right? So it may just be like a, a smaller little countertop on the corner that's just about as deep as that well, that's the plan anyways so it's a small house it's it gets cluttered very easily that's why we have plans to buy a bigger house but we're trying to be smart about it and make sure we save up a massive down payment so that we won't be broke after buying a house that we can afford to furnish it and live and still go on vacations sometimes maybe Disney World once every year or two or three you know so that we have money to do fun stuff and not just every single dollar we have goes into our mortgage payment, right? Interest rates are going crazy right now. Inflation's going crazy. If you're watching this far in the future, this is 2023. I don't know what the future holds. Maybe it'll get better. Maybe it'll get worse. We're just sort of holding tight right now and saving all the money we can. So eventually we'll have a bigger house, right? That'll be in a couple of years. For now, we're making do with what we have. This is a very small, very affordable house, right? very affordable this house right now is cheaper than rent and we own it so there's no reason to move we don't need the extra space right now we want it once we have another child or two there's gonna come a point where we need it I want to be prepared for that point <laughs> but yeah the countertops are gonna extend over this what I did was I, I like I've told you in past videos I secured this dishwasher to the floor to the subfloor so that we can still use it right so it's operational I just need to put the countertop over here and it'll be a nice butcher block all the way around. We'll keep the same sink. That's fine. We'd like to have a unless if unless if we find something nicer and we want to spend the money into it. I wanna be careful about what money we do spend into this house because we're already doing our bathtub in our bathroom. Uh, next no, this month actually, in a couple of weeks. Shoot, yeah, we're getting that redone. So uh, pick and choose where we invest money into it because we know we're only going to be here for another couple of years so anyway yeah that's the plan and this is all just baby stuff all just baby drying rack dirty baby bottles and stuff that need to be washed yet this actually needs to go to the baby i was just warming that up he's hungry at least he was five minutes ago it's nice and warm but not too warm good speaking of the baby Theo. Theo. Look what I got. Oh. Are you telling me you're hungry? Because you were a second ago. What do you think? 
Yeah, just looking in amazement and wonder. Okay, let's get your bib on, let's feed you. Britt is still sleeping. When I'm at home, I'm on baby duty, and that's her chance to just relax and take it easy. So I'll let her sleep as long as she wants to. We went to bed pretty late already, so she's probably awake already, just you know, relaxing in the bedroom. I'm pretty sure she's probably awake already, but that's okay. I'll take care of business out here. Can you see it? Right behind that pole, it says on terrible. I mean, sorry, no, I read it wrong. It says Ontario. Welcome to Ontario. Welcome to Ontario, and we're in a personal vehicle. It feels so weird driving down this road in a personal vehicle and not in a truck. We're going to uh, Britt's mom's boyfriend's cabin. We're gonna go check it out. He has a cabin in the Kenora area there. And uh, we're taking Theo with us to go see it. Britt's just inside, taking a rest break. The little man is sleeping back there. Shh. He sleeps just like any other baby on road trips. But if he realizes we're stopped, he gets very mad. He likes to be driving. He's my kid. He likes the sound of the tires humming down the road. So we're just going out for the day. Uh, cottage country out here is just two hours from where we live. So it's not too long of a trek. We were talking about it, you know, we uh, would love to have a cabin out here one day. We're thinking like, distant future right now we're focusing on buying a new house and once we get a house you know pay it off and uh, let the kids grow up a bit and then maybe one day if we're lucky we can have a cabin out here that'd be so nice just to be able to just have somewhere to go on the weekends have a boat go fishing until then we can always rent you know there's lots of Airbnb cabins around here you go on Airbnb you can rent a whole cabin for however long we might start doing that next summer, once he's a little bit bigger. That should be fun. For now, I'm just looking forward to getting in the water. I haven't been in the water this year yet. You can, you can see I'm all dressed up for the occasion. I got the palm trees out and everything. I'm ready to get in the water. This rest area we're at right now, we've stopped here many times on the other side where the trucks park. This is the car side. I've never been on the side before. I actually feel kind of special. Uh, we stop here all the time. We're just inside of Ontario from Manitoba. So we got about another half hour to go or so to the Kenora area there. And uh, it's all two lane highway. But the four lane is coming along just well here. Uh, very well here. We're going to have a four lane highway all the way up to the Manitoba border. And then it's Manitoba's turn to four lane it. It's probably about maybe a 10 mile stretch from the Ontario border to where it's already four laned. And we'll have a four-lane highway all the way from like Winnipeg. Well, actually the four-lane goes all the way to BC then. But anyways, from us, where we live, four-lane all the way to Cottage Country. That'll be nice because this two-lane road gets so busy in summertime. So many people from Winnipeg have their cabins out here. It's sort of sort of like, you know, Wisconsin in the summertime. All the people from Illinois coming into Wisconsin, plugging up all the highways. It's the same thing here. All the people from Manitoba coming into Ontario, plugging up all the roads. So. It's a good thing that they're widening it. They need it. A lot of traffic. And when you're driving a truck and you're trying to make good time, like I do during the week, it's very annoying because everybody's on vacation like we are right now. No rush, you know. Having a good time. Meanwhile, the truckers are like, <laughs> we want to go. Ontario is, you know, or at least this area of it. It's like this all the way to southern Ontario. Is it really? Oh, yeah, another, like a thousand miles or so or more. Uh, furthest I've ever been into Ontario is like Blue Lake, I think. 
maybe slightly further, but, or I guess Kenora, because Kenora's past Blue Lake, but, yeah, not very far in. It's two days of driving down this little two-lane road to get to the next big civilization. Yeah, provinces are much bigger than states. Thankfully, it's not too busy going into cottage country right now because it's it's a Tuesday. It's busy coming out though, as you can see. People are all going home. Suckers. Ha ha ha. Well, we're kind of the suckers. We uh, we don't get to stay the night or anything. It's just a day thing. I wish we could, but you know, puppies need caring for, so. It's okay, the more I bring her out here, the more she talks about how we should have a cottage. Well, it was within five minutes of crossing the border, honey. I know. It didn't take much convincing. We're driving to Ontario. I love Ontario. We always, when I was a kid, we always went uh, camping at West Hawk, which is still on the Manitoba side, right? Yeah. Um, and just at the border, though, kind of. And then uh, Blue Lake were our main camping spots. And pretty much grew up there in the summers. So I'm really, really wanting Theo and whatever future children we have as well to grow up doing lots of camping and hiking and swimming and building those core memories like I have. True Manitoba childhood. Yep. Winters are brutal, but summers are camping, cottages, lakes, fishing. That's what you do when you're Manitoba. Absolutely. Southeast Manitoba. I mean, the west side's a little different, but. Yeah. <laughs> that's putting it nicely. This is life out here. It's <laughs> just like, that's why I say we're so similar to Minnesota, even Wisconsin. Very similar. Summers are all about lakes and swimming. Yeah. Can't agree. Yeah. Yeah, and we will do everything in our power to make sure that Theo gets a taste of that, at least. Even if it's just renting cabins and just pulling our little trailer to spots, we'll do it.
you can go grocery shopping with your boat. What did you do for the first time today, Trucker Josh? Drove a jet ski. Well, sort of. Jet ski Josh. Yes, jet ski Josh. Did pretty good too. I watched them. Just a little training session. They're actually pretty squirrely. They're hard to control if you don't know what you're doing. So you just took me out and showed me the ropes a little bit. Yep. It's just fun. First time I was ever on one. And Theo had his first boat ride. He slept through 75% of it. Very good though. He was in this awkward life jacket the whole time and he didn't care. He's such a chill baby. Just like, yeah, I'm cool. Just hanging out on grandma's lap. It's all good. I'll be fine. So yeah, we went on a boat ride. He went on a jet ski. We had a really great dinner. Theo got in all the grandma snuggles. It was Great day. It's always nice to just be on the water. Nice. There's something about that. It's just yeah. that is where true uh, de-stressing happens. True relaxation. True relaxation. Better than a day at the spa. Yep. Cheaper too. Well, for us, not for the people who own it. <laughs> we saw some expensive. You probably saw them in the vlog. There, we saw some expensive cabins along Lake of the Woods that are like millions of dollars, and they're never even there because they're busy working to pay for it, right? Obviously, but or they're at their winter homes or anybody, at their other summer homes. Anybody who's anybody around Winnipeg, like whether it be NHL players or big business tycoons or just rich people or wealthy people in general, that's where they go for their leisure time. They have cottage cabins country. on Lake of the Woods and Cottage Country, or here in Lake Falcon Lake. But they go in this general area, so there's a lot of uh, very influential people in the area, and their cabins are just beautiful. Some were very impressive. Yeah, we had a great day, but gotta go home to the boys now and go relax there. Yeah, we're just do more relaxing. More relaxing. And then I gotta go to work and work a little bit and then relax a whole lot, just looking at the window, holding the steering wheel. Tomorrow I gotta head on a trip going to uh, Kenora, going back to Kenora in the big truck. <laughs> yeah. Right back. Grab a load, go down to Minnesota, and then I have a load waiting for me in Davenport, Iowa. It's taking me to uh, take me back home, maybe to Alberta. See if I go through with it or not. And I'll just be at home taking care of Theo and the dogs. Being an awesome mommy, number one mommy. That's what I love to do. You all thought you knew who number one mom was. Nope, now you know, number one mom, right there. <laughs> 